I stopped using Cursor as my dedicated AI coding agent and instead I moved over to using Claude Code instead. And in this video, I'm going to be detailing why I migrated from Cursor all the way over to using Claude Code. The way that I'm going to format this video is that in this first part, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough about how I use Claude Code in my workflow. And then in the second part of this video, I'm going to give you my explanation and rationale about why I prefer using Claude Code over Cursor. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let me give you a quick walkthrough about how exactly I use Claude Code and First, let's just start off about what exactly is Cloud Code. So Cloud Code is a coding agent that just lives in the terminal. It's not tied to any IDE, and they actually have direct integrations with JetBrains and VS Code, as well as any forks of VS Code like Cursor, which is what I previously used and I currently use as well. So I'll show you what exactly the integration does. But essentially, this is something that just lives in the terminal, and it's essentially what you would typically use Cursor Chat for or Cursor Agent Mode. You ask it to do things, you ask for clarifications, ask for explanations, ask for code changes, and it'll do all of that for you. Now, in terms of the pricing, it can vary a lot. It starts as low as 17 bucks a month, all the way up to 200 bucks a month. For me personally, I actually shelled out for this crazy max 20X plan. I'm paying 200 bucks a month. I know it's crazy, but honestly, I'm probably gonna keep the subscription because I think it's that good. The big difference is just the rate limits you get for the access to the various models. And in terms of how Claude's models are working right now at the time of filming, which is June 19, 2025, Claude Opus 4 is their top of the line model and their most expensive model. And Claude Claude Opus 4 is specifically designed to be a really good coding model. Claude Sauna 4 is a little bit more general purpose. And the big difference with the Max 20X plan versus this Max 5X plan and the Pro plan is you get way more access to Claude Opus 4 for coding. And to get Claude Code to work in your workflow, you first just have to install this a little NPM package because Claude Code is essentially a node server that runs and executes commands in your terminal, in your code base. Then when you do that, you authenticate with everything, connect to your Anthropic account, and then you go over here personally using cursor and you can see I have Claude code here or you can activate in a terminal just by typing in Claude. So Claude is completely based out of the terminal. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, Claude code does have a JetBrains integration as well as a VS code integration, which also works with other VS code forks like cursor, which is what I'm using right here. And at least to my knowledge, maybe there's more integrations that I know of that I don't know of. But what I've seen is the furthest extent of what this integration does is it makes Claude code aware of what file you're currently working on. So you can see it right here. I have the recording view.swift file open and you can see that Claude code is able to detect that if I switch files over here to this audio recorder service.swift file you can see that Claude code is able to detect that change as well now if you're also using cursor you're probably familiar with highlighting certain lines and adding that into your chat Claude code does the same so if I were to highlight all of these lines of code you can see that Claude code is able to detect 25 lines selected and then if I wanted to add this context into my Claude code instance I'll do command option K and then you can see that that it adds those lines of code into my Claude chatting terminal instance. So Claude code, like I said, it just works out of the terminal and there are a bunch of different commands that you can run, some slash commands, like choosing which models you wanna do, resuming certain conversations, logging in, logging out, installing a GitHub app, yada, yada. There's so many different commands that you can do, but probably one of the most important commands you wanna do right when you go into a code base is the slash init command. And when you run the slash init command, this essentially creates a Claude.md file, which will essentially be an overview file about what exactly your code base is about. It's kind of like a cursor rule. So that's what Claude init file does. It actually takes a lot longer for this to run. For example, it's been pretty normal where I run a certain command with Claude code and it could take three to four to five minutes to run until completion. And at first I was a little bit annoyed at the speed aspect of it, but I found that the speed trade-off actually comes with a better performance trade-off. So Claude code is not afraid of taking a long time to complete certain actions. So in terms of how to make changes with Claude code, there are two ways you can do it. Number one is the way that we're all pretty familiar with is you enter in some command and it'll automatically make those changes for you. And if you press shift tab, you can then do auto accept edits on. Basically, when you turn this feature on, Claude will make edits to any file without asking you for your permission. Then if you do shift tab one more time, there's actually a plan mode. With Claude Code's plan mode, you this is basically where you feed it all the context that you possibly want and then it'll devise a plan and not make any changes to any file. This is just to make the initial game plan for what changes to make. So let me give you a quick run through about how exactly Claude code works specifically with plan mode. So first, I'm going to give it a little bit of prompt of what changes that I want to make. So one thing that I want to do is this is a small little Swift app that I'm working on and I want to build a meeting recording tool, right? A desktop app meeting recording tool that can read in, that can listen to all of the system audio input as well as my microphone audio output and combine it into one final audio file to record any meetings that are out there. So for plan mode, I'm going to enter in a quick prompt to tell it to build 
build that out. So I just wrote out a quick prompt saying, add Swift code to support recording system audio output, as well as user audio input, and then save this combined audio file into one single file. So when I press enter, Claude code starts in plan mode. So it's just gonna do a bunch of research on its own, make the entire coding plan. And then afterwards, when I click apply, it's then going to apply the changes kind of in a manner that is very similar to what you would see in Cursor's agent. Now, I'm not gonna make you see this entire demo because if you use Cursor before and you've seen an agentic coding experience before, you're gonna be very familiar with this. But while this is running, I will talk a little bit about other things about Claude code that I like and I don't like. The number one thing that I like is Claude code actually provides you with a little bit of context about saying how full the context window is. And there's actually a dedicated command that you can use to summarize that context and truncate it so that you can continue working in that particular conversation. And in my experience, at least, you usually start showing like how full your context is once it's like 20 to 30% full. And I actually really like this little UI indicator. I don't have it right here, or actually usually shows it right here where this little green dot is in the bottom right hand corner. As your context window gets bigger and bigger and more full, it'll show you how full that context window is. So you're aware about whether or not you need to truncate it and maybe start a new chat or not. One downside that I do see with Claude code is I do find the fuzzy searching and not as good like file searching because you can still add certain files here and there for Claude to get additional context. If you want to say, look at this file specifically, I haven't found it as good. For example, sometimes I'll type out a little file name. And for some reason, I know that the file exists in my directory, but Claude code just can't pick it up for some reason. And I don't understand why that has been a little annoying when I'm trying to add certain files. But at the same time, Claude code is good enough where if I just enter in a generic name, it's usually able to find the right file name that I'm looking for. But definitely, I think cursor has a better file searching fuzzy searching experience. So as you can see right here, it just asked me for permission whether or not I let it read a certain directory and I'll say yes. And as you can see, this is running for quite a long time, kind of what I said earlier about this speed off of time and performance. So Claude code regularly runs for a very, very long time before executing any type of action. But I do prefer that because I've actually found the quality of Claude code's output to be significantly better than cursor. So as you can see, the plan mode just finished up and it gives me an entire overview of the plan that Claude is going to take. And then when I do press proceed, what ends up happening is they turn this plan into a step by step checklist. So you can actually review the checklist as a developer saying, what are they going to do step by step? And then Claude goes ahead and executes each task one at a time sequentially throughout this checklist. So I'm going to stop this process right here just because you don't need to see these random code changes being made. I'm going to zoom out and kind of just talk a little bit more about why I decided to use Claude code instead of cursor. Now, if you're someone that's interested in using Claude code by default, you're going to be someone that lives in your terminal because that's where Claude code lives. And if you're looking for the best terminal experience that also offers an agentic coding experience inside of it, you should check out Warp, which is the sponsor of today's video. They just released a brand new agentic coding experience directly inside of their terminal that is currently rated number one on Terminal Bench and in the top five on Sui Verified Bench, which shows that they are one of the top performing AI agents available right now. Warp has built in support for running multiple agents at once so you can have your own literal army of engineers making various code changes for you. And you can monitor their progress via a dedicated agent management panel, which is something I desperately wish Cloud Code had because it is a bit hard to keep track of all the changes going on purely via the terminal. Even better is the fact that within Warp, you also have the ability to choose which LLM you want to use for various tasks. I'm a really firm believer that picking the right LLM for you is a very personal experience because what works great for one person isn't necessarily guaranteed to be great for everyone else out there. You have to find the LLM that suits your work style, coding style, communication style the best. So I highly recommend going around, trying all of them out and seeing which one is the best fit for you. Also, because Warp has built out their own dedicated terminal app from the ground up and now offer their agentic coding experience inside of their terminal, their agentic coding experience isn't just a simple CLI tool, but instead it is a fully powered AI application that provides you that familiar terminal feeling that us developers love and are used to, but offers just enough customization to make the UX better. I mean, look, graphical interfaces were built for a reason. We should use them instead of shunning them. If you want to try out Warp and their new agentic coding experience, use the code Your Average Tech Pro to claim two months of Warp Turbo for free. Now let's talk about why I decided to use Claude code over Cursor's agent coding experience instead. Really, there's only one answer. I just think that Claude code has significantly better output than Cursor's coding agent. And look, I have no idea how to quantify this. I don't have a rigorous test 
best case scenario. This is all just based off of my personal anecdotal experience and just like my gut feelings. You know, I think now that I've used Cursor for I think almost a year at this point as my main coding editor, I have started to develop some type of intuition of what I think will work with Cursor and what's not going to work with Cursor. And I would say my intuition is relatively correct. Once again, not super scientific, not really quantitative at all. This is truly just based off of my own personal experience. And when I've used Claude Code, I've thrown a lot more complex tasks at Claude Code with much less context and like adding certain files or adding certain folders and directories. But I found that Claude Code is consistently able to make higher quality changes and results in code that is significantly less buggy compared to Cursor. Aside from the pure output of code that Claude Code is able to produce, any other metric, Claude Code is a worse user experience. I do wish it had a graphical interface. I don't love living in a terminal. I wish that it can live as the integrated tab within my code editor. I wish that I didn't have to pay an additional subscription to Claude Code when I already pay for a Cursor. But at the end of the day, the only thing that matters to me is my developer velocity and the model performance. And at least for me, I have found Claude Code's performance and code output to be significantly better than Cursor's. And I think a big lesson to learn from all of this is that now with the crazy development of AI right now and AI software in general, it is never a wise plan to pay for a yearly subscription to something because what's hot one month could be completely cold and lame to use in the next month. I am no longer going to be paying yearly subscriptions moving forward. I'm only going to be doing everything on a month to month basis so that I can always work on the cutting edge of what is the best because right now, at least at the time of filming this in June 2025, Claude Code is in my experience the best AI coding agent experience out of anything else that I have used. Now, I'm still going to be using Cursor as my main IDE of choice just because I'm already on there and I do find Cursor's tab to complete code experience to be really good, but I only pay for the base Cursor, which is 20 bucks a month, and I'm happy to pay $20 a month for just that tab to code complete experience within the IDE. But I'm no longer using the Cursor chat or Cursor coding agent, and instead, whenever I have any agentic coding that I'm actually going to do, I'm always going to be defaulting to Claude Code from now on. When I say that Claude Code works better compared to the Cursor agent, I think the big crux of it is the fact that I can write less of my prompt for better output performance from Claude Code compared to Cursor. The thing with Cursor, I had to really guide it to look at certain very specific files, reference so many things at so many different folders and files. But with Claude Code, my prompts are significantly shorter. I had to provide it with significantly less context. And despite that, it is still able to produce higher quality code output compared to Cursor. And I think that is the big reason why I am personally switching over to Claude Code. And I will say, if you are going to go try out Claude Code, I'm personally using the most expensive subscription, the Claude 20X Max subscription or whatever Claude subscription that's 200 bucks a month. It's expensive. And I never thought that I was going to be paying this much for it. But the performance has pretty much blown my mind of how good it is. And at least as of right now, I'm going to be continuing to pay that $200 a month subscription to the absolute max out tier for Claude to get access to the most Claude Opus 4 that I can. If you end up trying Claude Code, let me know your experience with it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you prefer the terminal experience? Or do you prefer that it had a dedicated graphical interface that you can interact with? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Claude Code. That's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.